It's just one. Hey, after you did drive to window three, they're going to walk you through how to take the test. Don't open it up until told to do so. Yes, sir. Okay? Yeah. Window three, all the way to the left. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Just snap it? Uh, peel it, peel it open first. That's what I would do. Perfect. Now you're gonna, you should see a notch. So go ahead and snap it. And take off the end. There you go. Now I'm gonna give you a list of instructions. Do not begin until I tell you to, okay? So you will cough, you'll roll up the window then you'll cough, not yet. Then you'll cough three times. After you do that, you're gonna swab the inside of your left cheek for 10 seconds, right cheek for 10 seconds, and the roof of your mouth for 10 seconds, okay? Yep. After you do that, you're gonna open up the test tube, put the swab in the test tube, cap it, put it in the big bag, and then you'll drop it off. Okay, any questions? No. Go ahead, roll up the window. Thank you, sir. You guys have a good one. responder he tested on Sunday after he was informed that four people from his unit tested positive um, my husband is not showing symptoms but due to that exposure of four team members testing positive he went ahead and tested on Sunday today is Thursday no results back yet um, he was told that it would take about three to five days today is day four um, we did an oral swab. It was a drive-through uh, setting for the testing. So the appointment was scheduled online. 
Now, I'm sharing this because I have heard from a lot of you, personal, friends, family, that you guys wanted to get tested. You know, some of you guys work at grocery stores. Some of you guys work at convalescent um, places. So you guys have been exposed and you try to get tested and it was $200. That wasn't the case. We did not pay a dime. Um, my husband did go online, get a, a list of um, testing sites that are within your county that you can d uh, go to and get tested. So we did not pay anything for the test. It was free. Um, we are huge on boosting our immunity systems. I'm huge on probiotics, vitamin C, all the good stuff that we already know we're supposed to consume. But we don't do vitamin C supplements. We do it naturally. Um, I have a recipe for an orange peel tea. Huge, huge, huge vitamin C. Check it out. Make it. Try it. Do it. Because that's what we do. And it's been working. I have a recipe for the onion tea. And the onion tea is good. If you know of anyone suffering from flu symptoms, share that recipe. Because it is really good with um, helping relieve those fever symptoms, body aches, and whatnot. Ginger is also a big one. I will keep you guys posted uh, with this whole um, experience, whether my husband tested positive or not. I will let you guys know, uh, but so far everyone's uh, doing okay. And go ahead and comment, leave your questions down below. I hope that everyone is well. And I hope that me sharing this will help so that none of you pay those $200 for a test. That's ridiculous. Make sure you check out your county websites, whether you're LA, San Bernardino, Riverside, Orange County. Check out those county websites. I'm sure they have all the information that you need for testing sites where you don't have to pay um, those fees. It's really sad to see how people take advantage of these situations for a profit so stay alert stay safe and i will keep you guys posted